Hello and welcome to another episode of Love My Poland. Did you know that during the late summer to mid-autumn, Poland is rich with both tasty and downright deadly mushrooms? During this stretch of time, you can easily find loads of edible mushrooms throughout your local woods and forests. And mushroom foraging is huge here in Poland. I don't know too many people who don't get into the hunt on an annual basis. As a matter of fact, on social media right now, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, it's not uncommon to open your news feed and see Polish friends and family members posting picture after picture of their big mushroom finds. It's really something to boast about over here in Poland. I'm blessed to have a father-in-law who's an amazing teacher for mushroom foraging, and he's taught me pretty much everything I know about picking mushrooms. And in Poland, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of species of mushrooms throughout the Polish forests. Now I admit, I play it safe by sticking to the few that I know very well, and in today's episode I will show you a few of my very favorites, and I'll also show you some that will put you six feet underground in a hurry if you're not careful. So pay attention to the video. Now before heading into the woods, we'll make sure that we've got all the gear that we need. I've got my high rubber boots on, my kids have their Wellingtons, UK English is Wellingtons, or their rubber boots on. We've also got our trusty bucket here. I've used this bucket over the years to collect my mushrooms. I prefer a bucket, but you also see some people in the forest with their reklamówki. Reklamówka is a shopping bag. This one happens to be from Lidl. Nice, light, and easy. Put your mushrooms right in there like so. And you can't forget about bug spray. The forests are filled with mosquitoes and other annoying insects, so we spray up before going out. And to cut the mushroom, I've got my trusty pair of utility scissors. Cut it right there at the bottom of the stalk, put them in the bag, and we're ready to go. So, it looks like we're ready to go into the forest for a hunt, and we're really excited to bring you along today with us, so let's go! As we begin our walk through the forest, we come across a minefield of different mushrooms. I'm looking out, first of all today, for my favorite mushroom, the kanya, or the parasol mushroom in English. This mushroom has a delicious mushroomy aroma and tastes even better when chicken fried on a pan. In Poland, this mushroom, however, is easily confused with the deadly white toadstool and is the reason for many accidental poisonings each year. You know you have a good kanya when you have a scaly top that peels off easily, a movable ring along the stalk, and of course that good mushroom smell. The next mushroom we come across today is the mashlak, or the slippery jack in English. This is, in my experience, the easiest mushroom to find. They seem to be everywhere, especially just after some rainfall. I love cooking these mushrooms mostly in scrambled eggs in the morning. You'll know it's a mashlak because it's really slimy at the top. It has a slimy cap. It's a good idea to scrape that part off before cooking. The mashlak has a yellow, spongy undersurface. Just yummy! The next mushroom we find on our hunt today is the pravjivek. This is one of my favorite for cooking because it's so versatile. I have used it in countless dishes. You may know the pravjivek by its international name, the porcini mushroom. This mushroom usually grows large. It's firm and really easy to identify. In the forest closest to our home, we can spot some podgrzybki, which in English translates to a bolit mushroom. There are many varieties of bolit, and they're all good. The podgrzybki mushrooms have a dark bell-shaped cap and often grow in thick green moss. You can also find them growing near tree trunks. These mushrooms are usually smaller than the porcini, but the flavor is equally superb. So look for a dark brown bell cap with a light yellowish spongy underbody. While you're out in the woods during the walk, it's not uncommon to run into other foragers. You know, that's a good sign for me, as I know I'm in a good forest when I see other people there. Finally, I don't want to deceive anybody into thinking that mushroom hunting is simple. It's not, and by no means am I an expert. I'm still learning so much more each season. It takes hours to find good mushrooms, and it takes a careful eye and lots of patience. Along your hunt, you will find a ton of bad mushrooms, from those that will make you sick to those that will kill you. Beware of mushrooms with neon colors, green, purple, blue, and red. When you look under the mushrooms, nine times out of ten, those with the gills or the fan underneath are those that you kind of want to avoid. You really want to look at those spongy types. So there you have it. That is mushroom foraging in Poland. Now you might be wondering, with all the mushrooms you have, all the mushrooms you found in the forest, are you going to eat them all in just this season during this time? Absolutely not. Probably five to ten percent of the mushrooms we actually eat, cut, and put into different dishes. The rest of them go for the future. We dry them out and we collect them in a big bowl like this. They are completely dried out. All those mushrooms I showed you are right here. And my mother-in-law has a really good dish she serves during Christmas Eve that's great with dried mushrooms. So these last forever. We can cook them up, just put them in hot water, and they're ready to go again. So here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and push that button and become a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. I invite you for the future episodes.